Boys and girls, it is new save o'clock. We have loaded up every league in England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland and Northern Ireland, all the way down to tier eight in England as well. We're starting unemployed with no qualifications, no previous experience, and we are going to see where we end up with our forever club. We're going to do a one club road to glory save with, ever, with wherever we end up. And we're now going to go and find out wherever we end up. Now, because this is the job hunt video, we don't have time to squeeze everything job hunt and first club into one video. So if you want to see the first episode of whatever club we end up at later on today, we need a like on the video. If we get a thousand likes on this video, then we'll release part one with the new club. So effectively the second part from what this stream was at about two o'clock ish today. So make sure you leave a thumbs up and uh, fingers crossed we end up somewhere good, eh? So the save we have set up as explained on YouTube earlier today. So you really should have you really should have watched that. So you should know what's going on. Um, but we've set up, a, we've got one of these tier 10 databases. I know lots of you are going to ask where I got it from. I think I just searched for it on Sort It Out SI, which is the site I usually use for mods and just picked the first tier 10 database I found on there. So if you want a tier 10 database for yourself, they're easy to find. So yeah, we've got tier, down to tier eight in England loaded up. We've also then got every playable league from the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales all loaded up as well. We've started unemployed and holidayed forward to the 21st of January 2024, which those of you fancy enough to own a calendar may realise is today's date. So we've holidayed forward to today's date and there are a number of jobs available. We're not necessarily going to apply for any of these ones. Um, we'll get to that in a minute, but they're the jobs that are currently available. So we'll have a look through them in a moment. Um, as far as my manager profile is concerned, I'm starting obviously unemployed. I'm unemployed with Sunday League reputation and no coaching badges. As you can see, tis a sorry state of affairs as far as uh, as far as my manager attributes are concerned. Although I do have an extensive knowledge of England. Couple of things for us to decide before we go any further. I've already decided I want to do a one club save. So wherever we end up, we're doing a road to glory and we're going to try and work, ride them all the way through to save completion. But I think we have to be realistic and try and set up a save that will actually be fun to do and acknowledge that if we manage in England or possibly even Scotland, winning the Champions League is an acceptable end goal. However, if we end up in the Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland or Wales, we are not aiming for a Champions League win. We will probably be aiming maybe for qualification for the Champions League league stage will perhaps be the end goal. Once we get them into the league stage in the Champions League, we'll consider that a win because what I don't want to do is get bogged down in a save where we're just winning the domestic league 15 years in a row whilst getting our buttocks handed to us in Europe. It's not fun to play. So we're not going to be doing like a 30 season save wherever we end up. We are... Uh, they're the things to bear in mind, basically, when deciding what kind of save you want. So I did promise you would get to have some input on how this save ends up looking. And uh, we're going to set up a poll for the first piece of input um, because I want to know where you would like the save to be. So I am setting up a poll, I think. I got taught how to do this the other day. What country should I manage in? And I'm going to put the five options on there. Um, I've got to learn to type Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales. Um, yeah, England. Yeah, so I've got the five options on there. I'm going to set the poll for three minutes. Let me know what country you would like to what you would like this save to be in based on that poll. So remember, if it's England or Scotland, we'll probably be aiming to win the Champions League. If it's any of the other three, we'll be aiming to qualify for the Champions League. That is uh, that is a large number of votes for Scotland. 
England's too easy. Might get a European win with Scotland. I mean, yeah, the goal would be we'd have to work out what's realistic. Certainly, winning a European trophy is realistic with a Scottish club. I think. Um, I've never been to Scotland in my life. If we're going to go and visit this club, I'm actually going to have to go to Scotland. So I think we can safely uh, safely rule out Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Um, there is one proviso I'll put on this. And that is, I don't know if I'll actually get jobs in Scottish League 2 with the manager profile I've set up. So we might end up in England by default. <laughs> but we'll, um, we'll certainly see what Scotland's got to offer. Um, so Scotland, Scotland is one with 52% of the vote. England on 39% and then the other three. Pretty clear no one's interested in the other three. So we're definitely going to be focusing on jobs available in Scotland. That being said, we're going to keep a little bit of an eye on England as well. And if we find an English club that looks interesting, we might put that to a vote as a club. Right, Dumbarton have had a little bit of a recovery, it seems. They've now moved up to seventh place. So now the insecure job is East Fife. East Fife is... Oh, they've got a pink kit. They've got a different sponsor on each of their three shirts. Is that a thing that clubs do? A different sponsor on each of the three kits? I don't know that I've ever seen that before. That's, uh, I mean, I guess it's logical. Although, if you were, I mean, bearing in mind, this is the fourth tier in Scotland. If you were down in, you've got to be getting a discount for the third to respond to the third choice kit surely because what kind of scenario bear in mind there's only nine other teams in their league i can't imagine many scenarios where the other team have some kind of combination of yellow and pink on and you have to wear the third kit no one's ever wearing that third kit surely it's just never being used right what else have we got Leighton. Still nothing in Scotland. Job centre has Lark Hall. Lark Hall. <laughs> Their ground is named after a sandwich. If we were to go to this lot, the goal has to be to sign just, just Ham. Is it the Dagenham goalkeeper? <laughs> we could have Just Ham at Plain Ham. We are the Sandwich Boys. Come on! What, an, what a name for a stadium. The Plain Ham Stadium. Goodness me. So they're in Bath. I don't think I could manage a team in Bath because I couldn't bring myself to say Bath. I need the context. Why is it called Plain Ham? Plain Ham. Bath. Why is it called the Plain Ham? There you go. About us. Initially, the club rented the Plain Ham. Why is it called the Plain Ham? And I've got to get more information about why it's called Plain Ham. <laughs> Affiliate club with cheddar. That is amazing. Apply for Lark Hall. Yes. No. Really simple. Poll has started. Let me know what you would like me to do. Obviously, it's not Scotland. Um, the insecure job is still East Fife. They are still level on points with Bonnie Rig Rose. I would love to manage a club called Bonnie Rig Rose. That's a great name for a club. They're called the Rosie Posy. <laughs> um, it's looking like it's a no for Lark Hall. We've got 65% of you are saying no for Lark Hall. So I don't think we're going to be uh, hanging out at the Plain Ham anytime soon, which I am very disappointed about because it's just a great name for a stadium. Does anyone else play at the Plain Ham? So check Scotland first. Oh, 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 right. Action stations, everybody. This is where we find out if a Scottish save is going to be possible. We are going to apply for East Fife and see what happens. If they do not take me seriously, then Scotland is off the table and it's going to be an England save. Um, but we might get the East Fife job. Where on earth is East Fife? Hold on. I need to look at a map. I mean, that's not very helpful. It's in Fife, apparently. That seems made up. Um, incognito. East Fife. I want to look at it on a map. No, get rid of that. Give me maps. 
Uh, East Five Football Club. Where are they? Okay. That's very Scotlandy, is it? I mean, I say it's very Scotlandy. At least it's not up here. I'm not I'm not very keen on going to Drumna Drochit, for example. Why is it North East Fife? Why is it not North Fife? Is North Fife up here somewhere? If there's no North Fife, don't call that North East Fife, just call it North Fife. Where's South Fife? Is there any other Fife? Have we got a West Fife over here? Won't somebody explain the rules to me? The sticky out bit is Fife. Well, so that's South Fife then, isn't it? <laughs> so East Fife is in South Fife. I don't get that. Goodness me. Chapman wants East Fife job. I've not considered to have any chance of being offered the job. <laughs> um, well... I guess let's see if we get an interview. We might be doing tier eight in England, boys and girls, through no fault of my own. I am trying here. Let's uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> Goodness me. Am I favourite? I mean, I doubt it based on that piece of information we've just seen. Uh, no, Gary Jardine is favourite, who's currently, I mean, he works in the civil service. My word. So he doesn't even have a job in football. The civil service strollers. <laughs> Matt Tubbs is managing football teams. How is he 39 years old? I remember Posh talking about signing him at one point. Looking at how many clubs he played for, we probably had a bit of an escape. But there was, there was rumours at one point, not so many years ago. I'm doing another poll. We haven't applied for this, but I'm doing a poll. Do I attend the interview? Right, 66% of you told me to go to the pool interview. This is not committing us to even accept the job if we get offered it. We are still very much hoping for East Five, or at least hoping for an interview at East Five. But in the meantime, we'd also quite like a job. So this is Chris. Hello, Chris. I've got a bit of a thing, a bit of an issue with people called Chris. I usually clash with them. It's Topher Reeves. Hello, Topher. I'm going to call you Topher. Topher, call me Vin. It's fine. We are cool. We go by the second halves of our name here. Um, we'd like to discuss our plans for the club's vision and get your views on them. I mean, Topher, you are aware. I've never managed a football club and don't know what I'm doing, surely. Can you assure us you'd have no problem securing the backing of your players? I Honestly, I don't know, Chris. <laughs> I've never done it. I haven't got a clue. Is that not is that an answer I can give? Why is I don't know? Not an answer. I have no manager qualifications, no previous experience. I genuinely don't know, Chris. We'll say, we'll go on an adventure together. I guess we'll find out. Just the two of us. We'll figure it out together. Um, I can promise you that I would immediately have the backing of the players here. Obviously. Are you the right manager to lift us from our solid platform and take us to the next level? I believe I have a reputation that sufficiently answers that question. I mean, to be fair, if we take the and the the words there literally, I think my reputation does sufficiently answer that question. It doesn't necessarily answer it positively. But I think it does sufficiently answer the question, but it's wrapped up in so much interview speak that he might think I'm being positive. And I think that's important. We'd like to know, when do I intend to establish myself as the club's manager? Am I able to take charge now or do I need more time to join the club? I mean, I haven't got a lot else on, Chris. I've got to give a month's notice at Taco Bell, but other than that, if you can sort me out with a train, I'll be right down. I'm happy to take charge immediately. Of course I am. How would I feel about working with our current director of football, Nick Spech? What a name. Nick Spech doesn't have a beard, which is problematic. Oh, Spechy. Fine, I'll work with Spechy. As part of the recruitment process, we're willing to allow you to suggest changes to the current backroom staff setup. What size? I don't need a budget. Just pay me more. Give me no budget for this. 
So you want me to strive to make progress on and off the pitch. I think that means just try. I don't think we actually have to make progress. I think we, we have a club culture of, we're going to try. <laughs> we'll give it a go. Work within the wage budget. Build a new stadium as part of the club plans. See, for a one club road to glory save, that could either be a positive or a negative because it depends how quickly they want to do that. Because if they, if we like got a new stadium in the second or third season, then we ain't getting another one when we get to the Premier League, are we? So, mm, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing to be on the objectives. Presumably the rest. Plans will be set out when the club ownership is resolved. Hang on, what? Due to the owner looking to sell the club, we've altered the five-year plan. Until the situation is resolved, we'll hold off setting long-term plans. So you're a... Hang on. So they're wanting to appoint me as manager, but they're not sticking around. Who is this guy? Do you work here, Chris? What's going on? I, I don't understand what's happening. Is this club in a mess? Um, yeah, let's just, I'm, <laughs> I'm, in, <laughs> I'm intrigued. We're not expecting anything of you this season. We'll discuss next season's objectives at a later date. Will you? Will you be here, Chris? That's fine. What's next? Why? What, what a question for me, the interviewee, to ask in an interview. So, Chris, I can't help but notice that you've stopped asking me questions, yet I'm still here in this room. What now? Do I have any requests? No. No. That's fine. No requests. What a weird situation. What happened to their previous manager? Their previous manager was Matt Tubbs, who was sacked. They're eight. Why was he sacked? Are they mental? So they were supposed to finish fifth. And they are, okay, they're well out, well, there's no way they're getting in the playoffs. They're well outside of the playoffs. But they've sacked the manager. This guy's just hanging out. He's just here for, for funsies. He was at Bournemouth. Why on earth did he leave his job as an under-21s coach at Bournemouth to become assistant manager at Poole? Because they threw in £500 a week is the answer to that question. It's not a mystery. So the ground, we have to give 15% of our gate receipts in rent to our for our council-owned stadium. So we are tr currently trying to get planning permission on a new 5,000 capacity, zero-seated. <laughs> Amazing. Zero-seated stadium, which is going to cost three and a half million pounds. So we are well in the process already of building our own stadium. The longer East Fife leave it, the harder it's going to be to save them from relegation as well. We're into, we're about to hit April. What on earth is taking them so long? They're 10th in the league, five points from safety, and they're fat. They're, what was the point in sacking your manager if you're then just going to faff around for two weeks without a manager? Just leave the current, leave them in charge till the end of the season. Right, Paul are actually in for me. So we delay that, don't we, for a week? Someone say Dumbarton. Dumbarton's now available as well. Right, we're going to delay Paul. They've agreed to that. I think we can only delay them twice, though. So there's going to come a point where we have to make a decision. We'll apply for Dumbarton as well. Oh, blimey, they like me. I, I thought it was quite negative in that interview. Um, let's just check out Pool's ground as well. So Pool FC on... Why do you? Why does it just show me maps as an option? Because then once I get on it, it's like, I can't show you Pool FC maps. I don't want Pool FC maps. I wanted to get to maps and then see Pool FC. It was very simple. What I asked for. 
Right, that actually looks like a football pitch. This looks like a football club. Someone said before, what did you expect? This. Hold on, where is it? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I, I may be about to retract that statement. I think it's over here. Is it behind this fence? Which side is it on? I mean, the fact I'm in the middle of the road and I'm not sure which side of said road the football ground is on is alarming. But they are building a new one. I think. Wow. Do you reckon players touch that sign the way they do when they're at Anfield? <laughs> it's it's a school mobile and then like nine pieces of A4 paper that have been sellotaped together and rested on the floor. Oh, the emotions. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, here we go. Look. This stand is proudly sponsored by Jacobs and Reeves. Oh, there is there is something in there. We can't really see what it is. But there's definitely something in there. Is that Jacobs or Reeves? No. Black Gold Developments. There's definitely... See, there is definitely a football stadium there. And they're building a new one anyway, aren't they? Ooh. Right, let's look at East Fife. So, East Fife FC. On maps, obviously. I've done everything else. Learn. I thought you were supposed to learn. No, I don't want to... I know East Fife FC maps isn't a place. Ah. Right, here we go. Look. It's right by the sea. It's literally just in the Docklands. What happens if there's a big wave? Oh, see, that's a proper football ground. It's lottery funded. The fence. Oh, it's the media entrance. They've got a media entrance. 12 quid. 15 quid to get in. Who do they think they are? You can get drugs there, I think. Is what it says on that sign. You can do private functions. That's the locality hub, whatever that means. Commercial opportunities. I can sponsor the side of the ground. What the hell is that word? We can go to the Geek Fleming Lounge. Guess that's a name, a Scottish name. Magnum Taxis. Nice car park. Oh, solar panels. Can I not get in the car park? Do we have to go to the. Sorry, we have to come bump up over the curb, apparently. Then I guess. This, so that's the sea over there. I can't see it from any other side. Can we get around the other side? Um. Can we have a look at this side of it? No, we're only allowed to look at this one side. I mean, it's a proper football ground, though, isn't it? It's not quite like English League Two level. It's the sort of stadium you'd expect to see National League, National League North in England. So it's a slightly higher start, but obviously that means we're closer to winning the Champions League at the start. Hi, Jim. Oh, hold on. Are these ones that are rock bottom as well. Is there even any point? Gordon Bennett. I ain't going there if I'm just going to get relegated. Right. Nice shirt. I like the shirt. I am considering my options. Yes, I'll do better than my predecessor. We don't know if he is my predecessor yet. Get yourself out of the relegation zone if you want me to be your manager. Um, yeah, I can start straight away as long as you don't get relegated. Um, yes, avoid relegation is quite important, isn't it? And then next... So this season, avoid relegation. Next year, reach the playoffs. You realise you're rock bottom of the league with about five games to go, don't you, Jim? My word. We're not expecting anything of you this season. Well, I'll get relegated then. Fine. That was a quick one, wasn't it? 
Right, I'm now linked to them. So, I am now favourite for Galston. I'm favourite for Galston. I've obviously already been offered pool. Well, oh my word, they've all come in together. Okay, we have... We have four job offers now. Haha. <laughs> Well, we're going to do a couple of polls here because I don't want the English vote splitting. So we're going to do um, who should I accept East Fife or one of the English clubs? Wait to see what Dumbarton say. I mean, that wasn't an option. You've got two options. It looks like we're going to East Fife, boys and girls. Well, uh, so it looks like so we're definitely going to be in Scotland based on these polls. So we're just going to do one more poll asking if we delay East Fife to wait for Dumbarton or just accept straight away. Right, this could be the final poll that decides where we end up. So we can accept East Fife now and go there immediately on £250 a week. How much are the others offering me? I'm getting offered more money by Trafford. It's bonkers. Oh, my word. Right, we are going to East Fife, boys and girls. Decision has been made. Oh, here we go. Start to negotiate. Obviously, I want more money. Can I have £425 a week, please? 350 Oh, God. 300 then. They went orange. £300 a week to go to Scotland. And there we have it. East Fife, hire Chapman.